Good day everyone, it's Jelani. The scripture for today is found in 2 Samuel chapter 23. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we come before you today to give you thanks for yet another glorious day. Lord, we don't know how our days are going to start to our end. Yes, we can speculate, but we have to trust that you are going before us. And though, yes, they, some days start more rockier than some, we know that if we abide in you, you will see it through and see us through. And this is why, this is just one of the reasons why we are thankful and ought to be thankful because the God of all, all creation is on our side and we on yours and we thank you for again moving us in our stubbornness sometimes we don't feel like consulting you sometimes we don't feel like praying sometimes we don't feel like consulting you or, or going into the word to know what it is you want us to do or what you have said but again, we are thankful for your patience towards us because if it weren't for that, then we'll, would none of us be here today. So again, dear Lord, when we do have these resistance in the sense that we don't want to seek after you, we're just praying that you intervene to help us. And though sometimes it might be a spanking or sometimes it might be a gentle nudge, Whatever it takes, dear Lord, we want it to be so that we are always going to the source of all wisdom, all knowledge, all understanding, all love, all everything. You are the source of everything, everything that is good. So, Heavenly Father, forgive us, as always we ask, in the times that we have left off seeking after you. In the time when we have not just in word but in deed and in things that we have said done or left undone we're just asking for forgiveness as he said forgive us as we forgive those who trespass against us and we're thankful for the example because we know that if we try to do certain things off ourselves our flesh sometimes will resist but again we want it that when we do put this flesh under subjection, you allow your Holy Spirit to reign in us. And not only so, but, but always we want to be led by your Holy Spirit, instructed by your Holy Word, so that we may know and do and fulfill your good, acceptable, perfect and holy will. We ask as always, dear Lord, that you help us throughout the test and trials of life. Keep us, our eyes wide open in the spirit. Because again, we know that our enemy, the devil, ain't sleeping. And he is have his eyes wide open, looking and seeking out who he may steal, kill and destroy. We do not want to be one of those who he does that to. We want to be... Those ones who are watchful, who are able to, what's it called, we are able to resist him so that he will flee from us, as you have taught us. But even when we resist him and he flee from us, that we are still mindful that he is not going to give up. He's still going to try. He's still going to try to destroy us. He's still going to try all of these things. But again, Heavenly Father, we put our trust in you, knowing that you are in control of all things, all spirits, all hosts of heaven, earth, and under the earth, all of creation is in subjection to you. I can do nothing beyond or yeah, nothing beyond what you have instructed to happen. So we are asking that you perfect your love in us for one another. Because this is the only way we can show that we love you if we have love one for another. The 
this is what your word have said. So continue to work on us, to build this love, to perfect this love, to make it known that is of you. So that we can put it into practice and as we pray each and every day that we may lead the youth, the children in the knowledge and truth of who you are. That we may continue to help one another in the seasons appointed and that you, O Lord, O Heavenly Father, continue to promote, to nurture, to sustain and put your hedge of protection, the shadow of the Almighty over all marriages in the pursuit of godly marriages and i say in the pursuit of godly marriages because all marriages should bear record and bear image of the true marriage which is yet to come of the lamb and his bride his wife the church so as we await that day and we are yet still making ourselves ready for that day we just pray oh lord that you continue to use our individual marriages as a testimony and a witness of your love, O Heavenly Father, through and by and for and in the holy name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, we pray. Amen. Alright, so Second Samuel chapter 23. Now, these be the last words of David. David, the son of Jesse, said, And the man who was raised up on high, the anointed of the God of Jacob, and the sweet psalmist of Israel, said, The Spirit of the Lord spake by me, and his word was in my tongue. The God of Israel said, The rock of Israel spake to me. He that ruleth over men must be just, ruling in the fear of God. And he shall be as the light of the morning when the sun riseth, even a morning without clouds, as the tender grass springing out of the earth by clear shining after rain. Although my house be not so with God, yet he hath made me with me an everlasting covenant, ordered in all things, and sure, for this is all my salvation. And all my desire, although he make it not to grow. But the sons of Belial shall be all of them as thorns thrust away, because they cannot be taken with hands. But the man that shall touch them must be fenced with iron and the staff of a spear, and they shall be utterly burned with fire in the same place. These be the names of the mighty men whom David had. The Tachmonite that sat in the sea, chief among the captains, the same was Adino the Esnite. He lifted up his spear against eight hundred whom he slew at one time. And after him was Eliezer, the son of Dodo the Ahoite, one of the three mighty men with David. When they defied the Philistines that were there gathered together to battle, and the men of Israel were gone away, he arose and smote the Philistines until his hand was weary, and his hand clave unto the sword, and the Lord, and the Lord wrought a great victory that day, and the people returned after him only to spoil. And after him was Shammah, the son of Agi, the Hararite, and the Philistines were gathered together into a troop where was a piece of ground full of lintels, and the people fled from the Philistines. But he stood in the midst of the ground and defended it, and slew the Philistines, and the Lord wrought a great victory. And three of the thirty chief went down and came to David in the harvest time unto the cave of Adullam. And the troop of the Philistines pitched in the valley of Rephraim. And David was then in an hold, and the garrison of the Philistines was then in Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, that one would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. 
And the three mighty men break through the host of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. Nevertheless, he would not drink thereof, but poured it out unto the Lord. And he said, Be it far from me, O Lord, that I should do this. Is not this the blood of the men that went in jeopardy of their lives? Therefore, he would not drink it. These things did these three mighty men. And Abishai, the brother of Je Joab, the son of Zeruiah, was chief among three. And he lifted up his spear against three hundred and slew them, and had the name among three. He was he not most honorable of three? Therefore he was their captain, howbeit he attained not unto the first three. And Beniah, the son of Jehoiada, the son of Abaliatman of Kabziel, who had done many acts, he slew two lion-like men of Moab. He went down also and slew a lion in the midst of a, of a pit in time of snow. And he slew an Egyptian, a goodly man, a goodly man, and the Egyptian had a spear in his hand, but he went down and so but he went down to him with a staff and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand and slew him with his own spear. These things did Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, and he had the name among three mighty men. He was more honorable than the thirty, but he attained not to the first three. And David set him over his guard. Ashahel, the son of Joab, was one of the thirty. Elhanan, the son of Dodo of Bethlehem. Shammah, the Harodite. Elika, the Harodite. Helez, the Paltite. Ira, the son of Ikkesh, the Tekoite. Abiezer, the Anithoite. Mebonai, the Hoshathite. Zalmon, the Ahohite. Marai, Marai the Neptophathite. Helem, the son of Baana, and Nephathite. Aitai, the son of Ribai, out of Gibeah, of the children of Benjamin. Beniah, the Perathonite, Hadai of the brooks of Geash, Abiabon, the Arbathite, Asmaveth, the Barhumite, Eli Ahab, I, sorry, Eli Alba, the Shaabonite, of the sons of Jesh, Jashen, Jonathan, Shama, the Hararite, Ahiam, the son of Sarar, the Hararite, Eliphalet, the son of Abishai, sorry, Ahashbai, Ahashbai, the son of the Makathite, Eliam, the son of Ahitophel, the Gilonite, Herizai, the Carmelite, Parai, the Arbite, Igal, the son of Nathan of Zoba, Banai, Abenai, the Gadite, Zelek, the Ammonite, Narahai, the Berothite, armor bearer to Joab, the son of Zeruiah, Ira, the Ithrite, Garib, the Ithrite, Uriah, the Hittite, thirty and seven in all. Not interesting. That's Uriah the Hittite, I wonder if that's the same Uriah that died. 
But um, okay, woo, that's a lot. But it's good that the records were given. Like you can imagine if you had your name in the like one of the thirty or one of the three or one of the other three mighty men, that would be nice. But yeah, it's a mouthful there. But um, I'll leave it at that. Anything that you want to share, as always, send it in the comment section or in the, um to eachreachone.org. We have one last chapter, which is chapter 24, which I will just do tomorrow and then maybe the day after I'll do a full recap of the ones that I missed last Saturday, including the ones that I've done um, Sunday and today. Just do a whole recap of the latter part of the chapters of Second Samuel. So anything that you want to share, as I said, just drop it in the comment section or send it into the word at eachreachone.org and as much as the Lord has led me taught me and kept me over the years i will answer them according to his word according to his principles according to his will be led by his holy spirit have a blessed day everyone and god's willing we'll catch up again